Welcome to 5G Vision. Today we will walk you through a basic alert configuration. There are two main types of alerts in 5G Vision. Absolute alerts, when the parameter is compared to a threshold, as on the screen. And differential alerts, when we monitor a drop or raise of a parameter over a period of time. The yellow bars indicate areas that were compared to each other. Let's start with absolute alerts. We need to choose the alerts configuration screen, and then navigate to the absolute alerts tab. This table puts together the parameters we want to use. The switch objects like customers, vendors, areas or disconnect codes. The contacts that we want to notify, and the very alert thresholds. Let's say we want an alert, on hourly ACD of any of our vendors, going below 4. We choose ACD in the parameter list. And we choose out for a direction, because we need ACD for outgoing traffic. Then we need to choose the object group containing all vendors. And the contact group with all the contacts we need to notify. Next and the most important part, is to set the thresholds. In this case send an alert if a parameter goes below 4 minutes. It's highly recommended to always configure a clear threshold as well. Without this, a raised alert is never cleared, and thus, never raised again. A good practice is to set the clear threshold with some tolerance so that alerts are not raised or cleared too often. Let us choose 5 minutes. If ACD rises over this value, our alert will be cleared, and we will get a notification. There are three notification channels. Emails, SMSs, and push notifications to a 5G Vision mobile application. You may configure which ones you need, for every alert individually. This alert will work, but what if we have a lot of small vendors in a switch? And we are not interested in receiving alerts, if we connect less than 100 calls to a vendor per hour. We need to set the call restrictions then. Any vendor having less than 100 connected calls by the end of each hour will be ignored, even if ACD for this hour is below 4 minutes. To save our alert we may press the save button here, or right click anywhere within the table and choose save from the menu. This is how an alert we configured may look on a chart. Now let us configure a differential alert. Differential alerts have quite a different set of thresholds, and thus, are kept in a separate table. First, we go through the same steps of choosing the parameter. Its direction. An object group. And a contact group. The main threshold is the percentage of drop or raise of a parameter. Let's say that any 30% drop in ACD from one hour to another, is critical for us. Now, again, we don't want to get alerts on vendors that are too small. So, we set an ignore limit of 100 calls per hour. Another good practice may be to set the parameter value that is still considered good enough even after a drop. For instance, an ACD of 10 minutes. After all, if ACD drops from 15 to 10 minutes, it is still a pretty high ACD. This is how an alert we configured may look on a chart. 
Okay, we have the alerts. But we use two important settings in them, the object group, and the contact group. How do we set them up? Contact groups are really easy. Every time you create a contact, you give it a name, an email address, and a phone number for notifications. You also choose a contact group to which this person will belong. If you want all your contacts to get exactly the same alerts, you may just assign a default group to all of them. However, very often you need sales, engineering, management and accounting to get different alerts, so you may create different contact groups for each department in your organization. Let's say John Smith is part of our sales team, so we will create a group for him and his colleagues. After adding we save all our changes. Let us move to object groups now. As you may know, 5G Vision can show a lot of different objects. Customers, vendors, areas, disconnect codes and their combinations. Additionally, it can be equipment, IP addresses, source or destination numbers and SNMP devices. All of them can be set up for alerting. We may consider an object group as a filter, that selects only the objects we need for a specific alert out of thousands of objects in your switch. This is done in two ways. First, we may select all objects of the same type, and include them in a group. For instance, let's add a type customers to areas to vendors. Any alerts that are set for this group will look only at statistics for this specific combination and ignore any other objects or combinations. Next step is that we may need alerts to be raised only on specific objects belonging to this combination. We select individual objects by adding them one by one to the ID included field. Or setting up a mask in the name field. We may also exclude objects in the same manner. OK, you got your first alert arrived to you over email. SMS or push notification to a 5G Vision application. What is next? The best way to start your investigation is to open the alert log. This is the alert tab in the main statistical screen. You may see the time of the alert, the objects this alert was raised on, the parameter and its values. The alert history column gives you a graphical representation of the alert over the last two hours. If the alert was raised and later cleared, you will see it like this. Differential alerts are only raised and never cleared, so you will see just one yellow bar. The parameter value columns are divided into two sections red and green for absolute alerts and yellow for differential alerts. For absolute alerts, you can see the parameter value at the time of the alert, and the threshold set in the configuration, or the value at a time when the alert was cleared, and the clear threshold. Differential alerts will show the previous and current values, the drop, and the drop threshold. Remember how we did not want our alerts to raise on objects that are too insignificant to care. Here you can see the number of calls at the time of the alert. The word calls here means per hour attempts for per hour parameters that look like bars on charts and active calls for per minute parameters that look like lines. 
And finally, the best thing about the 5G Vision Alert Log, is that very easy to jump from here to other modules to continue your investigation. By simply double clicking any alert you will get a chart, and may change its interval, or zoom to a certain period. Also, you may decide to view these objects in a report, which is especially convenient if you want to drill down to lower levels. For instance, you may have an alert on your destination's ACD. But what is the vendor that is giving you this? You may open a report, and go to the next level to see it. Just another option is to look at the very CDRS that were responsible for this alert. The objects you need will be pre-filtered there. Five G Vision has an extremely flexible alerting module, with the custom interval option enabled. You may compare any interval to any other interval. For instance, total minutes for today with total minutes of yesterday. Or minutes today with minutes 7 days ago. Or average hourly calls to specific customers during the last week with average calls today. This may be a key component in your revenue assurance and fraud detection procedures. Thank you for watching this video. We do hope that our learning intelligence will help you grow your business.